From sunny California, it's the Suzanne Summer Show. Yay! And here she is. Yay, here I am. <laughs> Top of the morning to you and happy Halloween. Well, you look great in hats. Yeah. You do. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Well, you know, it's Halloween. Well, you look, great. you look great without hats, too, but <laughs> there's something about it. It sort of throws it off a little bit. Yeah. It's kind of cocky on one side. Cocky. And it's kind of cool. Let's see what it looks like if it's sort of straight, just for fun. Okay. It's, so it's, a, cute. it's a good oh, look, but I like the cocky it's look. On the, on yeah. The, yeah, yeah it's exactly. Cute. It's cuter this way. So. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Well, I'm, so glad, I'm glad we settled on yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. And um, Alan has a surprise for everybody tonight. He has his Halloween mask. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. This just ain't any ordinary mask. This is a capital with an M yeah. mask. Yeah. Yeah. A mineral mask. This is a purifying mineral mask. Yeah. What we're going to do, come over here and show them what you look like without a purifying mineral mask on your face. So on, on mask? I almost hate to put this on your face because your face is so beautiful. He's so beautiful. You mean, Let's see. So I'm unmasked? You are unmasked, yeah. yeah. Look at, this is him on that parole. Yeah. <laughs> She's so incredible. I get shy around her sometimes. You do? Yeah. I love you. I love him. And he's so good to me. Well, this whole thing that I've been going through with the, you know, the neck surgery and the fractured hip and all that, he's taken such amazing care of me. Like, I knew he would, but it's, it's just awesome. Isn't it, Caroline? Yes, of course. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you wrote a book about it. Yeah, I, I deliberately didn't write a book this year. I wrote A New Way to Age, which fills up this year, but usually I write a book every year, but I didn't, I deliberately didn't write a book for the year going forward because of all the politics and I'm not political. And I didn't, I, I knew that my kind of book would get lost in the fray. And I, I like to write books that have got our backs, ladies, you know what I mean? And men, and, um, and it's kind of like this free, kind of feeling that I have that I don't feel this, you know, pull to go into my office and sit at my desk and Actually, start in. I've been in your office more than you You have, have. I know, I know, I know. And um, I'm enjoying it, I really am. I, I have to use her office because my office uh, is sort of the uh, side. storeroom. Yeah. It's the storeroom, it's the place where all the stuff that we own that we no longer need Right. is going to a place in the neighborhood that raises money for uh, the AIDS project. Right. Okay? So the last place it hits... It's the last stop. ...is our bedroom. Yeah. And the last place in our bedroom that it hits is my office. Yeah. Okay. But our bedroom is... Uh, one of the things... I, I'm kind of anal retentive. Really? <laughs> and when you're anal retentive and you have to spend a lot of time in bed, and you see that thing over there on the couch, which is really bugging me. And I've had, I asked him to do so much for me that I don't want to like overdo it. But I've got oh, you now, yeah. you're now doing it. Oh yeah, it's perfect now. Mm -hmm. Wherever you are is perfect. Mm -hmm. Just don't walk through my office. No, I do. Yeah. Several times a day. I know. I'm actually walking a lot better now. I've been working with a physical therapist every other day. He's so great. His name is Tristan. And um, uh, it's physical therapy is very interesting. You can't, if you've hurt yourself, you can't not do it. You can't not do it. And it's, um, the exercises are quite simple, but the, it's working with somebody who understands how to not overdo it. And so that's what we do every other day. And I actually, you know when it comes to exercise, somebody comes to your house or you go to the gym or whatever, and you kind of dread it. I don't with him, I look forward to it. Yeah. So, so it's great, life is good, life is all good. So, 
Oh, are you yeah. in the mood? Of course. So, you know, there are, there are people who join us at 5 o'clock yeah. California time uh -huh. yeah. because they know we're going to have some kind of deal we're, going. We're going to have a cocktail. Today. And a cocktail. Yeah. Okay. So for those people who just want to see what the deal is and then do whatever you're going to do, stay with us or take off or Hello? order. Here it is. Okay. What is okay. That? Okay. This is a free gift deal. If you get the purifying mineral mask mm -hmm. with any $24.99 purchase and the mineral mask alone, if you bought it on SuzanneSummers.com, would be $44.99. Is that right? Yeah. Yep. It's a trick or treat. So, wow. A trick or treat. What a deal. Okay. So whatever you buy on the on the website, we throw in the mineral mask. You want to know something disgusting? Aging skin loses trace minerals, and it makes it look tired, fragile, and dull. That, but, but when you think about it, you look at aging skin, and it does. It looks tired, fragile, and dull. And so we have this incredible purifying mineral mask to undo that. It's completely gluten-free. Um, it uses the power of calcium, peridot, and lycopene to deep clean the pores and cleanse the skin, revealing a youthful looking, vibrant complexion. It wakes up your skin. It's like the liquid oxygen is like giving your skin a drink. This wakes up your skin. Oh, he's putting on his... Liquid oxygen is my favorite I product. Is. I know it is. I love it. I know it is. Do you want to know what we're having for dinner tonight? Yeah, I would. While you're putting that on? Yeah. We're having a perfect roast chicken dinner and a great uh, chopped salad and mashed potatoes and gravy. Like, how, how what's yeah. better than that? Yeah, huh? right. I know, I know. Oh, that sounds so good. Doesn't it? You know? Every once in a while, you just want a mom dinner, and this That's, is a, yeah. yeah? I always want that for dinner. Yeah, yeah, it's a mom dinner, and mm -hmm. I can smell it here. It's uh, been roasting in the oven for over an hour now. The property smells like that today. Oh, I have to. I just wanted to mention, Suzanne. You know, we have so many new people, and every every time you you go on and do one of these shows with Alan, you guys get so many new people every time. So yeah. Oh. Some of them are asking questions about your neck brace if you want to just give it a oh. that you had a little surgery. Yeah. Um, some people don't know. Isn't this pretty? <laughs> <laughs> so pretty. It's really hard to get dressed around a dog collar. I'm, I think I have two more weeks of the dog collar. God, I can't wait to that moment when this comes off. And I have to sleep in it. So it's 24 hours a day and I can't remove it. So Alan and I, you know, I fractured my hip. Well, maybe you don't know that. Um, I fractured my hip and um, that was healing. And I was standing at the top of our bedroom stairs, which thank God I didn't fall all the way down the stairs. That's about, what would you say, that 20, 30 stairs, Caroline? Um, uh, they're kind of long stairs, so maybe less, but it's just because they're long stairs. Yeah. And so I'm waiting at the top of those stairs with my crutch just sort of peeking out, looking at the view, and Alan comes out to walk me down, which he does, and he grabs my hand and he missteps on a boulder that was built into the stairs. He falls down, and because he's holding my hand, he takes me with him, and I went down on top of him, and um, shortly after that, I, I mean, it hurt so much, I, I had terrible pain between my shoulders and my neck, and so we went and had x-rays, and when they looked at the x-ray, they said, emergency surgery now. And I went in right then. I had um, essentially broken my neck. I had spinal surgery, and I've got a whole lot of hardware down my back. And so the reason you're, you wear the collar is so that you turn, don't turn your head from right to left or up or down. It's to hold it in place to let all that hardware in my back heal. Um, 
Is it fun? No. Is it, um, am I lucky? Yeah. Oh, come here, honey. <laughs> come here, baby. Oh, here he, he's such a good sport. What do you see, Alan? His Halloween mask. He'll do anything for us. Morning, Caroline. Here he is. You're, you're Mikey. Look at you. Yeah. Wow. How cute are you? I won't be doing a whole lot of this. Yeah. Yeah, you knew he would. One for the team, Al Hamill. You're the greatest. Baby, you're the greatest. It feels great. I don't know what it's doing. Well, I've never it's used this. Yeah, it's it's. Um, let me read it to you again. That's calcium, peridot, and lycopene, which is like sucking all the bad stuff out of your skin and cleaning and purifying. Do I have bad stuff in my skin? Everybody does. Oh. Are you, are you alive and walking around in the environment? Well, yes. Yeah. You're such a good sport. <laughs> God, you're a doll. You're such a doll. Okay. Oh, well. Okay, you're well. embarrassing me. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Be embarrassed. I, so what uh, do I do? I leave this on for how long? Well, what, do you, what would you say, Caroline? 20 minutes? Yeah, I mean, it took, you know, you can shorten it up for show purposes if you want to, but... Mm -hmm. Well, I might as well leave it on and get the whole treatment. It's right? deep cleaning your okay. pores. It's cleaning okay. your skin. Okay. And then the payoff at the end of the show will be, we've got a bowl of warm water here, and fresh towels, and you can um, take it off. Okay. Take it off. I yeah. did. Yeah. So, I'm upset. You are? You know how much I love our big horn sheep on the property? And they sent out a notice here that um, they were going to be chasing down the bighorn sheep to um, stun them by shooting, what, a tranquilizer into them and then capturing them and then putting a collar on them or tagging their ears. And so this morning we wake up to the sound of really loud helicopters and I look out our bedroom window and you know how I feel about these big horn sheep. And there was one racing across the hill and then later on in the day I saw a herd go up the hill all together and they know what's going on. They can feel the tension and I don't know, do they need to do this? Do they need to do this, Al? I don't know. They say it's for the preservation. But uh, I don't know how, I, 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 I'm missing something. You yeah, put a collar on. Yeah. I know they, with fish, I guess certain like uh, big whales or whatever, yeah. uh, they put something on them that uh, tells them where the whale is swimming. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. I don't know what that means. Okay. I know, but. I don't uh, know about the bighorn sheep. Our bighorn sheep are still like conservationists who are doing this. It's usually for the benefit of the animals, so it's hard to watch anything that disturbs nature, but it is usually for conservation efforts. No, but I'm so, sure that, I'm sure that's what they what said, that? but I'd sure like to know what that means. What was that, Caroline? Uh, they're doing some construction in the canyon. Oh, the I thought you were farting. I keep muting myself. <laughs> I thought you were farting. I thought, Caroline, we're doing a no, show. I, <laughs> yeah. I God, we've just, we've, we have, we have grown so attached to these bighorn sheep, and I haven't seen pineapple balls all day, but I did see pineapple balls last night. <laughs> right. Huh? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm stuck on Caroline farting. Yeah. Yeah. She says it's construction. Why, right? why, yeah. Right. Why, okay. I'd like okay. to know, why are, why are farts funny? Farts make me laugh. I know, but you make everybody laugh. There are three kinds of humor. Did you know that? Even if, you know, Leslie Toilet, Miller. Toilet, yeah. um, philosophical, and what's the third kind? Um, Social? I don't know. What? Cerebral? Maybe. Anyway, I don't know. We can make it I up. laugh the most at Toilet. Okay. Leslie Nielsen, great actor. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, one of his big films was Airplane. Right. He had a great sense of humor, and I had him on a show I was doing, and he sat there, and we... Not a show you were doing. It was called the Al Hamill Show. Correct, yeah. It was your afternoon That's talk correct. show in Canada. That's correct. That's correct. Okay. So modest. So I was sitting with Leslie Nielsen, and we're talking, and he is really funny. He's funny. And all of a sudden I hear... <laughs> and I thought, Leslie? Yeah, yeah. Leslie, yeah. okay. But I, I smiled, and I looked at him, and he smiled at me, but it wasn't that we didn't start laughing, okay? And then about 30 seconds later... <laughs> And then we started laughing. And it turned out he had this little device in his hand that was a farting device. Oh. And every time he pushed the button, it would go. <laughs> 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 that was the shtick. Farts are funny. Yeah. And everybody farts. Farts are us. Even when people say they don't fart, everybody farts. Oh, if yeah. you don't fart, um, I feel sorry for you. That's right. You could blow way. up. You could blow up. You could explode if you never fart. Are you, are you, wipe your lip because your purifying mask is coming down your lip. Just yeah. wipe. Just oh. wipe. See? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you don't want. No. You don't want that. No. On that beautiful face. Okay. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now you're back again. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, enough about farting, I guess. Yeah. I'm going to have a little prosciutto now that you've talked about. Would you like a piece of prosciutto? Actually, I'd like a, a little piece of, is that cheese over there? I'll make you a thingy. Okay. Okay. That'd be great. Right. I you appreciate that. Uh, sure, a little truffle, white truffle honey. White truffle honey. Mm. Who makes this stuff up? White truffle, and it's organic. I would, white truffle, I would make acacia that honey. What's mm -hmm. acacia? Acacia is a tree. That's, you know, it's the kind of, yeah, the flower that the honey Oh, yeah. You know what? He's just going to blame it on construction again. Right. Yeah. You know, I had two beehives here. Here, Al. Here's truffle honey. Thank you. Triple cream tr cheese. Thank you. Andre, wow, thank and you. And a thin cracker. Beautiful. I take good care of you. So I had two beehives here. Yeah. And, well, no, you know the story. You were living with me at the time. Oh, right. That yeah. was me. That's you, yeah. And uh, there was this elderly gentleman, he was in his 80s, and he was a beekeeper. Yes. And I asked him if he would teach me everything he knew about bee having bees, because I had hundreds of thousands of bees making honey. So he did. And I said to him, uh, I only want to read one book, but give me the name of the book that I should read to know everything there is to know about having bees and honey. So he gave me the name of the book, and it was printed in uh, the UK in the 18th century. <laughs> and it was uh, out of print, really. Yeah. But I found the New York Times has this thing called book finders, and you pay them 25 bucks or whatever it is, and they find the book you're, lo you're looking for. So they found the book. I read it. I knew everything about beekeeping. I had these bees. And you'll recall, I was producing jars of honey every year. Sure. And I had people, Bar Barbara Sinatra would call me and say, so, um, when do I get more honey? She doesn't okay. have a deep voice. Pardon? You made your voice go real deep. Oh, I did? No. Barbara didn't have a deep voice. No, I not love at all. Sinatra. Is that what I did? Yeah. Oh, so, I'm, uh, oh, well, I'm yeah. sure you about that. I don't know if you remember, Caroline, but on your, uh, when you and Bruce got engaged, and I gave you that, which I thought was a lovely engagement dinner, that we wrapped the table around the, um, patio in front of the pool and into the living room and I, I spent a lot of time setting up that that evening. I made all the food and, and remember every detail. You do? Including the puff pastry around the lamb with the honey. Oh how nice. That was my lamb chops with um, oh yeah. I did this. It was unbelievable. Yeah. This incredible uh, stuffing that I made that I put on top of the lamb chops and then wrapped it in a pastry crust and then put it in. Oh, that was kind of great. So anyway, 
Anyway, the day of the engagement party and all of Caroline's family is coming in and I didn't know all of them yet. And Alan had, unbeknownst to me, invited Mr. Beekeeper over and also invited Mr. Tree Trimmer over, two old guys who've lived in the desert forever. And so I've got the whole area cleaned and polished and candelabra and candles and white satin ribbons and and I, I, I mean, I've got the whole area looking so beautiful. And I'm down in the kitchen, I'm cooking and I'm making my puff pastry and you know, a lot of work went into it. And I hear noises like what Caroline just said was not her fire party. <laughs> I go running up to the pool deck and there's Mr. Beekeeper and there's Mr. Tree Trimmer guy. And Mr. Tree Trimmer guy is cutting down big branches from the trees around the pool, which had all been just cleaned. And Mr. Beekeeper guy um, was, was um, like, I don't know, what, he, what was he doing? He, he had every, anyway, they had everything all messed up. And when you're young... Well, they were buddies. They were buddies. A couple of 80-something-year-old guys who were buddies. They were great. I love them. They were my I, friends. Yes. But I was very young. young. How, would, how young would I have been at that time, Caroline, if you're getting engaged? You were late 40s. Late, late 40s, okay. So I'm not all in my stuff yet. I don't have the patience and the wisdom that I have in my 70s, which I, that's what I love about my 70s. And I had a shit fit with these two old guys and Alan. How could you, it was a how could you sh shit fit. Don't you see what I'm doing here today? I'm setting up this dinner party, and you come and you decide today, today's the day, you're going to cut down the branches from the trees, and you're going to remove the hive from the honey, and you're going to do the thing. Blah, 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 blah. And these I, are two loving, lovable love, love, old guys. Loving. And they looked at me with Real these people. hurt looks on their faces, and I was too young to be able to go, I'm sorry, I should not have, but... Um, no, but the biggest shit okay, fit, okay, okay. the biggest shit well, fit of all... Yeah. Say, yeah. And yeah. Why the F do our husbands take on those kind of projects on the day that you're entertaining? <laughs> and you're down to putting the perfect flower in just the right, and you've got this all timed up, and then all of a sudden, first we'll start an organizing project. Keep oh, no. In the pantry. Oh, There's God. I, oh, God, I get it. I still get it. So, you know, late 40s, I don't know. I'm not going to say you weren't in your stuff. You were in your stuff. It was maybe just not a great day to do those things. Not Thank you. you meant anything intentional by, Thank you. by having a project. Yeah. But these are just things that you learn. Yeah. After no, but you know, you know. Thank I, you, Caroline. I, okay, here's the this thing. This is one of the many 100,000 reasons here, here, I love you. Here are the things. Here, here, here's Where, the thing. What are the things, Al? These guys were, what I really liked about them. What did you like about them? Were, I liked them too, by the way. They were very wise, yeah. okay. As we shared some humor together. Yeah. They had the same, we yeah. had the same kind of humor. Yeah. And um, you never made appointments with them. Like, you didn't say, so why don't you come on around three o'clock, okay? You'd say, why don't you come over on Wednesday? So the day they came to cut the trees down, was the day of your beautiful engagement party. <laughs> oh, God. But I do... Well. David Lincoln, it was, it was so perfect. You know what I remember? You know what else I remember? What? Indelibly, is that beautiful swan mm. filled with orchids. Yeah. Dripping with orchids. Yeah. And it was so beautiful. And champagne. And I think you were in velvet. It was spectacular. I will never forget that night. Thank you so much. I look... I loved doing it for you, and I loved doing it for you because I was so cognizant that my son, our son, was marrying the perfect woman. Oh, thank you. Oh, I, 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 and it becomes more and more evident um, every day. Every, every day. He's, I look at Bruce, he's finally got the life he always wanted. You know, what he wanted uh, as a little boy was for me to just be all, all his 
and uh, well, that's that's not realistic. He's finally he's finally got you all to himself. And when you do these cooking videos, and I look at the look on his face, and I go, you finally have everything you want, Bruce. And as a mother, and as you would be as a mother, Caroline, well, what do we want? We want our, our kids to be happy. And he's pretty darn happy. He's beyond happy. He's, a, he's in his, he's in his stuff. Yeah, it's, it's, it is, it's a great time, it's true. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so now, Al, put your towel, your, your towel in the warm water. Well, don't I just wipe it no, off No, in first? the bowl of warm water. Put that in the bowl of warm no, water. this is the one for the warm water. No, the one you're using is for the bowl of warm yes. water. Yeah. Get yeah. that all wet. Okay. Okay. Get it all wet. And then you're going to take all that purifying mask off with that beautiful warm water. Okay. Get it all off your beautiful skin. How's that feel? Lauren said I had a mother-in-law sink. What? She had a what? She had a, she had a not so nice mother-in-law. Unlike my amazing mother-in-law experience. Uh, he was saying her mother-in-law not so much. There are a lot of mother-in-law stories, and I think of what it is is an un unhealthy relationship of the mother-in-law with the son that they resent um, the new woman in their life. That, that I, I embraced it. I was so happy for Bruce to find you. Oh, look at well, you. I think, I think it can be hard as a mother if you feel like she's not good enough. As a the right person, or maybe she's know, not good enough. Yeah. Yeah. Too. Yeah. So I'm yeah. With her family. Yeah. But those things get hard. It's a it, jealousy is in there somewhere in some stupid way. Oh, you're looking beautiful, Al. Okay. Okay, Let, let's see. Now dry your face. I'll, I'll wait till you see him. Uh, uh, we all know he's beautiful, but wow. Whoa. Wow. This is, this is not beautiful. This is gorgeous. Right. Let's see. Okay. So maybe we shouldn't stay home tonight. You know, as long as I have the great skin look, going tonight. Look at you. Huh? Look at you. Mm. Isn't that beautiful? I love that. What is it called? Purifying mineral mask. I've never tried it. Yeah. But you know how important mineral you, you know that the human body cannot exist without minerals. Magnesium. Magne magne yeah, we're all magnesium deficient, so they say, according to Dr. Blaylock, not me. No, but also, you know, the I remember there was a <coughs> pardon me. A world class runner, Jim Fix. Yeah, Jim Fix. Just died right. on the track and it was determined that he was very deficient in magnesium and also right. we have a friend the here perfect storm, right. who was the organic farmer who taught right. us about organic right. farming here right. and she had a 14 year old son who was an athlete and mm -hmm. same thing yeah and magnesium well that's deficient. a heavy intake of excitotoxin which is fast food yeah. um, uh, low magnesium and heavy exertion that combination is the perfect storm, so they say, so they say. Well, what an upper that is, huh? Yeah. 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 It looks amazing, Alan. Does it? Look how yeah. beautiful. It's beautiful. Amazing. And if you have any liquid oxygen, you probably don't have it right in front of you. No, we yeah. don't, but this, is, this would be the perfect time to put on liquid oxygen. I know, oxygen. I love liquid oxygen right now. Yeah. When we go upstairs, I can give you some. Okay. I happen to have it. That, that's right, and you do. And if you buy the liquid oxygen today. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're right. How much, how, much, how much is the liquid oxygen? How much is the liquid oxygen? Um, I'll have to look it up. Because maybe this is the moment, okay? If you haven't tried liquid oxygen, I'm not kidding. It's my favorite product of the hundreds or I don't know how many products we have. It is. It, it is. my He's, favorite product. Yeah, this is. on every morning. Yeah, this is no BS. He loves. When I walk, in, when I walk into my sink in the morning. Right. And I turn the light on. Does it jump on your skin? And I go like that. 
and I take some of the liquid oxygen, I'm not kidding, I'm not That's kidding, true. and I put it on and it's like, good morning. Yeah, yeah. Really. Our stuff is so great. Yeah. So, it's it's $59.99. Wow. 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 Oh. So, so you get a 59, let's see, if you buy a 59.99 product, you get a, wow, what a deal. I know. I know. Liquid oxygen. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. He's not kidding. He loves it. And your skin looks beautiful. And aren't you glad now? I am. When you get into bed tonight, yep. your skin's all done. Yep. Mm. <coughs> well, I, <coughs> I never I'm do any. I'm not even saying this person, right? Because maybe her son will appreciate this, but she said her daughter-in-law, who's newer, never calls me, never does anything for anybody. She narcissistic. She does nothing for my son. He cooks and shops and cleans. She is a nightmare. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. I won. I won with mine. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> Michelle Hoyo said liquid oxygen is amazing. You're right, Michelle. I don't know. It is. They figured out a way to suspend actual oxygen in the, the stuff. Liquid. Yeah. So when you put it on, you're, hit, you're hitting your skin with liquid oxygen. I know. I know. I'd like to. I'd like a whole bathtub full of that stuff. Well, you know what? What? What can't we? <laughs> Don't start. Okay. <laughs> we, we can do that. It lasts me about a, a day. Well, yeah. you, you overuse. Of course. <laughs> but then you can have a liquid oxygen facial at home anytime you want. Yeah. So yeah. I use it after my, after the tone and before uh, my ageless serum. I've been finding lately that I've been using um, uh, the the bio the. The liquid oxygen, so I change I change it up every couple of months. Now I've been using liquid oxygen, ageless serum, and then bioactive moisturizer. And I'm loving what that's doing. I'm not loving what this collar is doing. It's like wrinkling up my chin. What am I going to do about that? Um, I, will it go back? Yeah, it'll go back. You start putting, you know, the stuff on and... You know, the, the problem is when you go to sleep at night and it gets tightened up, it it it, it causes, you know, your skin to... Yeah, I know. Yeah. But you can't get any moisture under there. You can't, you no. can't reach under there to treat your skin no. the way you want. Hey, that's all right, okay? The what neck. what you had done saved your life. Yeah. You saved your... When they mentioned uh, paralysis, if we didn't do something, paralysis, because the... When they said emergency surgery yeah. now, right now... And I stared at them, he said, or paralysis. Well, you know, I was talking the other day to all of you about we all have a story. And I know we all have a story. And that's what makes for the human existence. But um, when they mention something like paralysis and you realize, wow, well, life can change in a day. You're, I have to remind you, you're a manicurist. Oh my God. This little fireball oh my God. athlete, oh my tumbler, God. swimmer, runner. Wow. And wow. she jumped, she dived into a pool and it didn't go well. And that was years ago. Never and been the same. That was it. Yeah, never been the same. So yeah. life can change in a day. And many years ago when I wrote, I think it was my second, was Keeping Secrets my second book? Or my... Uh, that was your second, yeah. First was Touch Me in 43, okay. in 43 no, in, in 73. And then uh, 
Yeah, that, and then that one was in, I think, uh, yeah. 50, not 59, six, uh, God, I never 79, dates. 79. Yeah, anyway, anyway, um, uh, enjoy each day because you never know what tomorrow might bring. And um, I was sort of like, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I know, enjoy each day. Enjoy each moment. Each, each moment. When I touch Alan's chin like that, I, it's, it's like, it's heavenly for me because I get to do it. And I get to express to him how deeply I feel about him. And mm. when you have the opportunity in the moments with the people in your life that you love, be it your partner, your spouse, your, your child, um, touch them, embrace them. Oh, here's Natalie. I love Natalie Cole. Yeah, one of the greatest voices uh, of all time. I've told you this story before, but if you haven't heard me, let me, let me tell it one more time. <sighs> well, and at this point, I can tell it. You can tell it. Yeah. It was so meaningful to me. I'm at a dinner party, a fabulous, uh, opulent, luxurious dinner party. And um, my girlfriend, whose home this dinner party was... Um, uh, Come on, pick it up. Pick it up. No, okay. I mean, what okay. did she do? She, she put on this dinner party. Yeah, it was and her so, dinner, your girlfriend's dinner party. so there are probably 50 people sitting at the table, and now at the end of the table, I hear my girlfriend, who's Syrian, and I love her, and she has an accent, and I always do her accent, and she always laughs. And she says, Suzanne, I want you to sing. And I'm looking around this table, and um, I know she's not going to let up. She asked me two or three times, and I'm sitting next to... Uh, Paul Anka on one side, Paul Anka, and on the other side, uh, Les Moonves, who's the president of CBS, who put me in two or three of my series, like 15, 17 years of series, and um, so I knew I, I must. So I stood up and I walked to the far end of the table where my girlfriend was saying, Susanna, what did you say? because Natalie Cole was sitting down there. And I looked at the table and I said, um, I don't know what's going to happen right now, but Natalie Cole is one of my favorite singers. I think she has one of the most beautiful, whimsical voices of all time of women. And I sing in her key, how about that? And I know every song that she's ever recorded. So maybe, just maybe, she might, when I get going, stand up and sing with me. So I started singing that great song, The Very Thought of You. And I forget to do the little ordinary things that everyone ought to do. And all of a sudden, Natalie stands up and we do harmony together. And I was in bliss. I don't know how else to describe bliss, but I was in absolute bliss. And when we finished, and I could tell the whole table just loved it. And she said, you're a pro, let's do this some more. And then unfortunately, sadly, uh, terrible. She passed away two weeks later because she had uh, liver cancer. And uh, we never got to do that, but I got to do it once. And that was on my bucket list. And um, it lived up to all my expectations. And uh, wow, did our voices sound good together. I wish somebody had recorded it that night, but people weren't so uh, iPhone-centric at that time. Anyway, it's a nice story, isn't it? It is a very nice story. Thank you. And I also... So I won't tell that story again for a year. Okay. We, we can, you know, we can file it. Let's make it 32C. Okay. okay. 32C. Okay. okay. So from now on, mm -hmm. and the people who are with us tonight, 
this afternoon, no tonight. When I say 32C, the very thought of you. you'll know exactly what I'm talking about, okay? And we get on, I'll, I'll say 32C, and then we have, we don't talk for like 30 seconds. The ordinary things. And then we can all just kind of sit here. To do. And think about what exactly happened. Yeah, okay? It's great. Yeah. It's so great. Okay. So great. So, did you guys watch The Undoing? The what? The, the Undoing. Uncensored. The what? Uncensored. Tell them why we haven't watched Uncensored. No, yet. Connie Wolf. No, it's called The Undoing. You got Nicole Kidman show you wanted to watch. Undo all. Maybe that's why we couldn't pull it up. It's good, the but undoing. we have to wait till November 1st for the next episode. This is from Connie Wolfart. Con Wolfart? <laughs> that's, it's, oh, that's not your name. No, Connie Wolfart. Wolfert. Wolfert. Oh, just mispronounced <laughs> And actually, she has another name after that. Connie Wolfert Link. Right? Yeah. Did you guys watch The Undoing? No. It's good, but we have to wait till November 1st for the next episode. Have you seen it, Caroline? No, we haven't seen it yet. Oh. I'm just dying to see something that's not on Netflix. Well, we can always... You know what I want, Caroline? I started watching Emily in Paris last night. How'd you like that? I found it... It's light. It's very light. Yeah, that's what I found. I found it mundane. Mm -hmm. I found it like... Hold you on. have to give a show at least four episodes to see if it's going to yeah. catch up. What I'd really love... What I'd really love is the next time you and Bruce come out here that Bruce uh, undo the mess that don't, is... Don't tell him, otherwise he won't come. No, he'll come. He'll do that for me. He's my son. Uh, mess what? We can't get Showtime. We can't get HBO. We can't get, we can't get anything other than Netflix. Oh, so you just don't know how to switch back to cable. Okay. That's a remote issue. Okay. Uh, you have a have cable provider or you guys have direct TV but what's happened is that you've switched over to your streaming services and you don't know how to get back no do you know what she's probably tell you how to do it do you know what she's talking about Alan no who can yeah. help who can help him Bruce I mean Michael can help you but if we of course we will do it when we come back but I bet Michael knows how to do that uh, okay well we'll see we'll we'll see okay <laughs> I know we're paying for all this stuff. We can't get off. And we've seen everything. Bruce, Bruce, help us, please. You know what's really interesting? Please, Bruce, he's you know, there. You know what's really interesting? There, right now, there are literally hundreds or thousands of things to choose from. Okay? Why but, do we have to, like... No, no, but just think about it. With, with conventional network television, yeah. plus cable, plus streaming, right. there are thousands of shows, movies, whatever to choose from, okay? Yeah. When I started watching TV, it was only on for 12 hours a day. Three choices. We had two. I know. Two choices. Yeah, and there was on, Al. also yeah. co color color radar. Yeah. Yeah, let me tell you about color radar. Yeah. Okay. We had two choices, and there was always something to watch. I know. But now you with know, Caroline, honestly. With, excuse me, I was speaking. Excuse oh, me, go, I, was, I was speaking. Go, okay. So yeah. Today, with hundreds of or thousands of things to watch, mm -hmm. sometimes we flip it off and say, you know what? There's nothing. You say well, that. That's right. That's so true. You have too many choices, you don't find anything. Yeah, it's true. It's a far cry from when you used to have to carve into sandstone to get your message across. <laughs> Bruce, Bruce. <laughs> yeah, you can laugh, Bruce, but we, we need you. <laughs> we need you, and, um, and, I don't know how base I can get about this. Just okay, so it. we're not alone. Yeah. Michelle, where is it? We could FaceTime this tomorrow. Could we? Could we? Could, 
Maybe, how about tonight after the show? Hey, Michelle Hoyo says, I'm with Al. You're oh, paying sure. You're paying for it and not able to pull it up. She has the same problem. So yeah. we're, we're not alone. There are people out there. We're all suffering, okay? Yeah, suffering. We're paying for these services and we can't, we can't access them. I know. I mean, I wanted to get on. That's right. That's why I still use an iPhone 5. I know. And it makes me sad. I know. You know, it's old fart time, really. When I say I still use an iPhone 5, I know that's old fart time, okay? But I know how to use the iPhone 5. I bought the iPhone, whatever it was, 42. And it has three lenses for taking pictures. Big deal. Yeah. And I stopped using it because... I couldn't figure out how to use some of the programs. I know. But well, I know how to use my iPhone 5, okay? Yeah. And everyone makes fun of me because it's a little small phone, okay? I know, but it's kind of, it's kind of... No, no, but you know what's going to happen? What? They enlarge the screens after that, right? Yeah. Every year, the screens got a little bigger, a little bigger, a little bigger. They're going to go back down again. That's okay. the, only, the, only, the only place they can go. Okay, it's, like, some... it's like when they had, in, in the 60s, those... Uh, bell-bottom jeans yeah. and eventually bell-bottom jeans went to jeans that I are met you in those. that's right a tight around your leg yeah. like they are right now mm -hmm. okay like you know son Bruce wears so it's all going to change it's all going to go back it's going to change hmm? Well, I'm, I, it'll go back to the 60s. I don't remember the 90s. I, don't, I, think, I love the tight I think I slept through the 90s. Now the 1990s. Not the 1890s. <laughs> what did he say? He said the 1990s, not the 1890s. Oh, that's really funny, Bruce. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> what would you do, Bruce, if you didn't have Alan to kick around? <laughs> that's right. Not my humor. Mm-hmm. What's that? You know, it was Hurricane Zeta this week. Oh, oh yeah. right, yeah, they named it after me. Z-E-T-A. That's also the name of a uh, cartel in Mexico. So here's the next big thing, the next big change in all our lives. I think, what, Bruce? I, oh, Alan said next big thing is smaller phones. <laughs> That's right. No, the next big thing is... Do we move to Big Al's bar outside now? Oh, yeah. The weather has changed. Yeah. yeah. I think it's time to move outside. And when everybody comes for Thanksgiving, we're all going to want to be at Big Al's bar outside. So I think we've got to start thinking about that. That's okay. the end of October. Yeah. And yeah. We're, not, you know, we're just not, we're not, we, we, we don't have a cadence of what month it is or even what season it is. But it's, we're deep into fall. Is it still 2020? Because 2020 sucks. <laughs> oh, we're still there? Can you believe? On, honestly, let's, let's just roll back like uh, 20 seconds. What a year, huh? Yeah, this is going to be a challenge. Really? Okay, so I'm not alone. For all of us. I'm not alone. Who, who? Monica Domini Dominici yeah. says, don't feel bad, Al. I still have my flip phone, and I love it, and I won't get rid of it. I use it all the time. Okay. Okay, Monica. And then, the, and, and then, and then the next, yeah. the, the next woman, Carol J. Syracuse, what a great name, Carol J. Syracuse, says, are you ready? Oh, Al. Oh, Al. Oh, Al. Keep going. That's it. Oh, that's it? And then there's a little thing after it. I can't make out what it is. Well? Little, uh, you know, those little things that you, <laughs> that you click on. Like what? Well, little happy emoji. faces and hearts and. Emoji. It's emoji, yeah, but I can't make out what this is. So Carol, Syracuse, you're going to have to tell me what this is. Mm. Right. Wow.
Oh yeah, how come the the camera got close on Suzanne? Okay, is no, is it gone? Yes, gone. Okay. The, the camera's just in very close. It's so Definitely. weird. How did that happen? What did you do, Al? I, t I did nothing. <laughs> I did nothing. I didn't. This whole thing is collapsing. Oh, it's because the yeah. ring light fell forward. Uh, <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, I think you may have pinched the screen by accident. Yeah, so. I think you have. Yeah, but, but you know what? You look beautiful. She does. Just well, cock your head a little bit. Cock it off like to that. the side. Like that? Well, not quite that. It's sort of like a little like bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, that's good, yeah. You look like a little Irish lass. Yes, I am. Yeah. <laughs> and it's actually almost six, so if you want to hit that uh, sign one more time, Alan. You're going to throw the sign up, Al. What do we do? Okay. Yeah. That's right, I forgot. Get your free purifying. I forgot. Look how beautiful Al looks. Okay. So, what happened to that? How come you're so close? That's weird. Okay. We give you the purifying mineral mask with any $24.99 purchase, and the mineral mask is worth $45. Bucks. What a deal. SuzanneSummers.com. That's a great deal. It is a great deal. And I, can, and I can speak personally for the mineral mask. Look at your beautiful skin. I'm going to get lucky tonight. Yeah, maybe. No. The horse is there. Don't say that. Yeah. Uh, no. It's a really good pore cleansing mask. Yeah. And it, it, it acts like a, you know, those minerals just suck the impurities out of your pores. And they do. The way my skin feels after that mask. And aging skin loses trace minerals, making you look tired, tired, fragile, and dull. Do you want that? Yeah, no. If you don't want that, then use the purifying mineral mask. I love you all. Good night. And we'll see them next, what day? Tuesday? Carol? Well, not Tuesday. There, I, there's something happening on Tuesday. I'm not sure what it is because we don't talk about it on this show. All right. So I think we're going to do the show Wednesday. Okay, well, we'll post it. Tuesday's right. election day. All right. Oh. Oh. Oh, that. Oh, wow. Okay, yes. bye, you guys. <laughs> Love you guys. Have a nice weekend. Wait, wait, what did Bruce say? What? what? But Wednesday starts the Civil War, right? We know Bruce. I love you, Bruce. Don't create anxiety. I love you. Good night, good night, both of you. Good night to all of you, and thank you for coming again. I just love doing our shows together. Mwah.